Hi everyone. In this video, we are going to solve this double integration. Okay. But they have given one condition. We have to solve this problem with the help of suitable change of variables. That means we have to change the variables and then we have to solve this double integration. Okay. So let me write the given integral first. What we have i is equal to double integration over r y minus x dA and r is bounded by r is bounded by so they have given these four equations right see what will i do i will uh, shift those constants on that side getting so it will be 2x plus 3y is equal to 1 by shifting 1 on that side here i am going to shift minus 3 on that side so 2x plus 3y is equal to 3 uh, x plus 2y is equal to 0 and here x plus 2y is equal to 5 by shifting 5 on that side okay so these four equations we have but as they have told in this problem by suitable change of variables that means we have to change the variables we have variables x and y we have to convert them into some u and v or uh, in some another variable okay so now we have to put something now the question is what we have to put See, generally we try to find a pattern. Do you find any term here which is repeating 2x plus 3y, 2x plus 3y? Getting so that term uh, appears two times. So I'm going to put it is equal to u. Okay. So let me do it here. Okay. So putting x plus or uh, 2x plus 3y is equal to u. And see, there is one more term x plus 2y, x plus 2y. It appears two times, so I'm going to put it is equal to v. So x plus 2y is equal to v. So this is equation 1 and this is equation 2. See, after that, what we do uh, when we put anything, we should find Jacobian. Okay, Jacobian, we should find z. Or you, we can find z dash, and by taking its reciprocal, we get z. But see, there is one problem. In this integral, we have y minus x. And we have 2x plus 3y is equal to u and x plus 2y is equal to v. It means we should find the values of x and y. So we can put those values here. So our next task is to find the values of x and y. How to find values of x and y? Just by solving these two equations. Let us see how we can solve. Uh, x plus 2y. Now here we have 2x. I am going to find the value of y. So for that I need to eliminate x. Uh, then let me write, I am going to multiply 2 by 2, 1 minus 2 into 2. So if you multiply it by 2, you will have 2 here, 2x minus 2x, if you subtract, x will eliminate and we will get the value of y. So gives, let me write, gives, uh, see, 2x plus 3y is equal to u. I am multiplying it by 2, so 2x plus 4y is equal to 2v. If you subtract, sign will get change. 2x minus 2x cancel. 3y minus 4y minus y. And this is u minus 2v. Right. I am going to multiply both sides by minus sign. So it will be plus and sign will get change. 2v minus u. So I got the value of y. So now we have to find the value of x. Right. Either we can put this value in one of these two equations. So I'm going to put this value in equation number two so we can find the value of x. Let us do. Now from two, now from two. What is our equation number two? x plus 2y is equal to v. I'm going to put this value of y there. So x plus 2 to v minus u is equal to v. So x plus, let us multiply 2 into 2, 4 and 2 into u, 2u is equal to v. So let us shift all variables on that side. I am keeping just x on this side, v. 4v will be shifted there, minus 4v and minus 2u will be 2u. So x is equal to 2u, this 2u and v minus 4v minus 3v. So I got the values of x and y here okay so finally got the values of x and y 
So now the next task is to find a value of Jacobian. Okay, I'm going to find, just make a screenshot of it. Then I will go further. So let us find Jacobian now. Okay, so what is definition, definition of Jacobian? J is equal to, its definition is DABA X by DABA U, DABA X by DABA V, DABA Y by DABA U, DABA Y by DABA V. That means initially we need to find these four derivatives. We can put those values here and by solving this determinant, we will get the value of J. So let us find derivative first. Derivative of X with respect to U. So let us find what is my x, this is my x, 2u minus 3v, see we can take separate separate derivatives, 2u, 2 is constant, derivative of u is 1 and 3v is constant since we are differentiating with respect to u, so that's why its derivative will be 0, so 2 minus 0 is 2, next derivative of x with respect to v okay uh, v this is 2u minus 3v so again we can take separate separate derivatives derivative of 2u is 0 since we are differentiating with respect to v minus derivative of 3 is constant derivative of v is 1 so we will have here minus 3 next derivative of y with respect to u what is my y 2v minus u this is constant since we are differentiating with respect to u, 0 minus derivative of u is 1. So it is minus 1. Okay. Uh, see where shall I write? Let me write here. Okay. Derivative of y with respect to v, let us find here. What is uh, y? 2v minus u. We can take separate separate derivative since minus sign is there. 2 is constant, derivative of v is 1, minus u is constant, derivative, sorry, derivative of v is 1, derivative of u is 0, since we are differentiating with respect to v, not u, so it is 2. So finally, we got all four values, so let us put here, okay, determinant of, it. this is 2, this one is minus 3, this one is uh, minus 1, and the last one is 2. So you know well how to find a value of determinant. Product of these two minus product of these two. So 2 into 2, 4 minus product of these two, minus minus plus 3, 4 minus 3, 1. So the value of Jacobian is 1. Getting So we got Jacobian. So uh, let us find the region in UV plane. See in UV plane, UV plane, region is bounded by region is bounded by okay so see uh, these equations we have but see 2x plus 3y is our u so we can write u is equal to 1 by shifting 1 on that side 2x plus 3y is u again u minus 3 is equal to 0 that means u is equal to 3 this is our v right so v is equal to 0 and 2x x plus 2y is v, so v minus 5 is equal to 0 by shifting 5 on that side, v is equal to 5. So very simple region we have, this is a rectangle, right? Uh, we can draw the rectangle and by drawing a strip, we can easily have the limits, but directly also we can easily write. So here, what are the limits of uh, u or le let me write the limits of u first, so it's 1 to 3 and limits of v 0 to 5, constant limits we have, right? So let us write down i is equal to double integration. So I'm going to consider the integration with respect to uh, v first, so 0 to 5, u 1 to 3. Inside the integration, what we have y minus x, okay? What is my y? This 2v minus u, so 2v minus u minus x. What is my x? this one. So 2u, see minus minus plus, since already minus sign is outside, so plus 3v. Getting after that what we write? Mod j du dv or c, dv first. dv du, since I have written the limits of v first, okay. So there is no more space to it, make a screenshot of it, then I will go further.
सो लेट एस कंटिन्यू सो दिस इज इक्वल टू इंटीग्रेशन वन टू थ्री जीरो टू फाइव सो वी कैन डू सम सिंपल कैलकुलेशन टू वी प्लस थ्री वी इट्स फाइव वी एंड माइनस यू माइनस टू यू इट इज माइनस थ्री यू जेकोबियन वेर इज माई जेकोबियन वन वी आर टेकिंग इट्स मॉड बट बेसिकली इट्स पॉजिटिव सो इट्स मॉड विल बी वन नो नीड टू राइट डी वी डी यू लेट एस राइट द रिमेनिंग पार्ट हियर सो दिस इज इक्वल टू इंटीग्रेशन वन टू थ्री आई एम गोइंग टू इंटीग्रेट विथ रिस्पेक्ट टू वी फर्स्ट वी माइनस साइन इज देअर वी कैन टेक सेपरेट सेपरेट इंटीग्रेशन फाइव कॉन्स्टंट एज इट इज इंटीग्रेशन ऑफ वी इज वी स्क्वेर बाय टू थ्री यू माइनस थ्री इज कॉन्स्टंट इफ यू इंटीग्रेट वन वी विल बी देअर सिंस इट्स अ कॉन्स्टंट इफ यू हैव एनी कॉन्स्टंट इफ यू इंटीग्रेट यू विल गेट दैट वेरिएबल विथ लिमिट्स जीरो टू फाइव डी यू आई एम पुटिंग द अपर एंड लोअर लिमिट्स वन टू थ्री I am putting five here, so five into twenty-five. Since five square is twenty-five divided by two minus three u, v is five du. If I put lower limit, we will obviously we have value zero, so I will not write that thing. So this is equal to integration one to three, five into twenty-five, one twenty-five by two minus this is fifteen u du. So now let us integrate with respect to u. it's a constant so if you integrate we will have simply variable u minus 15 is constant integration of u is u square by 2 with limits 1 to 3 okay so let me remove this part just make a screenshot of it so now i'm going to put upper and lower limits i is equal to i'm putting upper limit first 3 huh so 125 Into three divided by two minus fifteen. Three square is nine by two. Okay, and one if I put, it will be one. So one twenty five by two minus if I put one, so it is fifteen by two. So it will be three seventy five by two. Let me do this calculation. It is. One thirty-five by two minus. So you can subtract. Okay, denominator is same, so you can subtract numerators. One twenty-five, so one hundred and ten by two. So here also denominator is same, so you can subtract numerators. One seventy three seventy-five minus one thirty-five. So it will be zero four and two minus. You can divide, so it will be fifty-five. Here also you can divide, so it will be one twenty minus fifty-five, so it will be sixty-five. Okay, so this is the required answer. Make a screenshot of it, then we will stop. Thank you. See you in next video.